Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. So I'm here with the American Road Trip 2 Indianapolis. Uh, this is the Evolution Cup. I did not record the Golden Cup, but that part is not super difficult, particularly for the second car. A good stage six should be able to do it. However, Evolution Cup, where you're trying to get the purple star, that's where things are going to get a lot more difficult. Particularly for this one, I would think that the Mustang Cobra Jet will require more upgrades than the Dodge. Here's why. The Cobra Jet is relatively slow at Stage 5 only, only getting fast with proper Stage 6s. Uh, the fastest Stage 6s for the Cobra Jet uh, includes body, trans, and those. So it's a pretty standard car, but you're going to want body Stage 6 and others to really get anywhere with it. Mine's fully maxed. I didn't drive it very well, but you know it can do 6.9s. So I won't have any problem with this leg of the race. Now, if you don't have it fully maxed, that's where things will get more interesting for you, particularly later on in the challenge. In the beginning, if you made it through the Golden Cup with pretty much flying colors, you should be okay for the first race or two for the uh, Evo Cup. But after that is when things get more interesting and you start to really see a bit of a slowdown with cars that are not properly set up or doesn't have the uh, fully max setup you're going to run slower and therefore you'll struggle now this is a 6.9 car i'm running 7.2s with so obviously i'm not driving it very well but the advantage of having a fully max car is that of course uh, even for evolution cups they usually give you the margin for one or two stage sixes not being there and you still be able to make it so it's not really hurting me very much to not have um the proper ship pattern or the proper launch. Uh, the Cobra Jet is very sensitive to its launch. If you're off perfect, uh, your car is not going to run as good. Whether it's early or late, it's usually not good for this car. It really likes a dead on perfect launch. So unfortunately, that's going to have to be your goal when it comes to driving this, that you get a pretty accurate launch uh, and then pretty quick to second and nitrous and then third and that should give you some of your better runs out of the car. Um, again, it, you know, if you're not good at this, look up Zucar's video. Look up some videos on how to drive the car. But see the difference where a perfect launch will get you a 6.9 run, but uh, anything off perfect is 7.1, 7.2 run. So very sensitive car when it comes to that. Not really a surprise. Most cars in the game fully maxed become a lot more sensitive to specific requirements, whether it's a quick shift out of the gear or that it has to be launched a particular way. Um, that's just the way these cars are when it's fully maxed. They're very se oops. They're very sensitive to um, the way you drive the car. So that's where I guess quote a little skills required because you actually have to be able to launch it and shift it properly. So I I didn't I forgot to hit nitrous. Uh, again, kind of breathing through these ten races so far. I know there is a challenge coming up where I have to retune the car and that is for the 0 to 100 um, one of the speed challenges not the speed traps these are pretty easy especially with a maxed car like this uh, but the challenge for the sprint will be the one that we're gonna have to look at with a slight retune and again the slight retune is simply uh, moving the final drive up uh, to allow the car to get a quicker 0 to 100 I believe the opponent runs something like a 0 0.083 or something. Something along those lines. We'll see in a few minutes. So again, this one's a perfect launch. So therefore, it should run 6.9s. Um, it just, the car is very sensitive to the launching. That's really all there is to it. Uh, Stage 6 effects, I have a video on that. Do a search on my channel under Stage 6 effects uh, playlist for the Cobra Jet and you'll get a full breakdown of uh, the specific Stage 6s and where it puts you relative to your performance. So that's a separate video you can look up. Alright, here we go. Ah, Nitrous didn't go off again. Sometimes if I shift a little too quick and hit Nitrous, it doesn't actually respond. That's an issue with the vice, not so much the game. Uh, okay, so this probably is that sprint coming up. Uh, so 
I remember that it's very difficult. Let's just run it once and fail just to so you can see the difference. And then we'll see what needs to be done to get the sprint where you want it. So this guy is going to have a very fast sprint. So here we go. Right, so that's the best sprint I can do uh, given my current tuning. And you'll see that it's just not good enough. 0 0.858 is what I need to beat. No problem. A simple retune should put us there. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that. So it's a matter of putting this to 100. So what you're looking at is 1.3410 to 100. You put this to 100. And what do you have? 0 0.587. So that's a uh, first gear. So you just keep that in mind. You should be able to launch first gear nitrous or first gear. Um, let it run. And it should do that. So you could also shift a second and oh it crashed okay hold on all right we're back uh, crashed out when I was uh, coming out of the tuning garage which happens a lot with this game okay so back to the run um, as you recall we put it to first gear for the 0 to 100 let's just see if I can get away with that with first gear nitrous if not, I can always skip out of first and go straight to second in nitrous. I could have probably tuned it differently for that, but it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll get it. Done. Okay. So that's all that's required. Um, and that's a 0 0.488, 0 to 100. So this car actually does quite an impressive 0 to 100. You're going to want to now retune it back to the 2.0 final drive. So you don't gimp yourself on the next relay that's coming up because you're going to switch over to the Dodge for the next 10 races. So let's go back. Let's retune the car. Okay, so that's just putting it there. I mean, some people are saying 5.0. 5.0 will, will be better in a sense, but it will require you, of course, to shift into second to hit 100 uh, because first won't. So you'll be launching second nitrous. You know, it's really a wash at the end. Uh, depending on how upgraded your car is, that's what's going to make the difference when it comes to whether you're going to get that in first gear or you might want to get into second gear and have that 5.0 final drive. So either one would work, uh, would accomplish the same thing for you. Okay, so <coughs> moving right along, we're going to move to the relay. It always says extreme for these relays, even though when you actually get into it, it may actually downgrade to hard or even easy, depending on what it is. In my case, it showed me as hard. That's because I don't have the uh, Dodge with fully upgraded stage sixes, even though I could. Uh, we're not doing that, so we can kind of evaluate what can be done uh, with that car to get through without having it fully maxed. Okay, as you can see, the interesting thing about this Dodge is this. Um, the strong stage sixes are still the same. Body is the strongest. Transmission is strong. Nitrous is strong. But um, aside from those three, though, they're all pretty much a wash. Uh, everything else is also decently strong with only intake being pretty weak in comparison. So basically, combinations of stage sixes are more flexible with this car. And... You are always going to be able to beat Dino some with this car as well, particularly if you get a needle drop like I just did. Uh, you'll, you'll make a nice run out of it. So I would think that basically if you had the strongest stage sixes, so if you had four stage six with the body and trans involved, you pretty much would be all set. So if you have intake, however, you know, it, it'll hurt you a bit. And if let's say you have intake, but you're missing body, it'll be worse. But bottom line is that you're pretty close on um, three stage six and definitely would be there with four stage six. So you don't need a fully max car. But this, of course, is assuming you have a fully fusion car. If you're missing a ton of epic fusions, then something else would have to give. And that would mean more stage sixes, uh, less um, fusions. You can get away with all stage sixes and missing quite a few epics. Uh, but... The point is that you have to have your car running about a 
uh, to be safe. Now this car isn't quite there. I mean, I think it's like 8.0, 7.9 right now uh, with three stage sixes. Yep, 8.0. That's not going to get us all the way through. I know that because I know the final time is faster. Um, so what you're going to want to do is eventually when we get to a certain point where the opponent has caught up with us, I'll have to throw another stage six in. But almost any of the other stage sixes will do the job. So at this point, I'm using three strong stage sixes, body trans and nitrous. And I'm using the needle drop uh, to get the most out of the car. So even though my dyno is going to be a bit slower, it's like 8.2 something, uh, I'm able to at least get the 8.1 runs so that I am staying in the game here. In fact, uh, let's go back and take a look at the dyno. I might throw in another stage six now just so I can finish the event without having to do a lot of jumping back and forth. Uh, while we're here, we'll talk about the tune for the uh, sprint as well since we're already jumping out. So first things first, currently the dyno is 8.335 and I can basically run an 8.1. So you're about a two tenths faster regardless. Uh, if you go back and look at the parts, what I'm doing is I'm running body trans nitrous, right? So any one of these additional ones should do it to get you where you need to be. Let's just go ahead and throw turbo on this time. And turbo will bump it up a bit. You'll see this will change. And then what you have to do is you have to go look at your retune possibility as well. Make sure if it's retuned, the car will do the job. 8.1 means I can run like a 7.8, so that should be good. Now, that being said, one of the challenges is again, 0 to 100 is going to have to be in the 0 0.8 range. That can be done the same way, 5.0, and you can see it just jumps down to like a 0 0.468. So it's not a, too difficult with this car either. This one works almost exactly like the way the Cobra Jet what, would, but you need that second gear so you're going to be shooting with the 5.0 final drive. All right, so <clears throat> barring that, though, we're looking pretty good here with um, current performance, 7.987 with a little tuning. And let's see, that should be good, 7.986. So once I threw turbo in, it jumped down almost four ten uh, three tenths from 8.3 to 7.9. Well, you know that with 7.9, you actually can run it probably like a 7.7. 7. Uh, so I'm good to go. You don't need full state sixes, obviously, clearly here. And of course, you want to avoid using intake. If you don't have intake, you're pretty much okay on four. Possibly, worst case scenario, you need uh, five state sixes. Whoops, I screwed up the launch. That's going to hurt. Um, so that's not going to be a 7.7 7 run. That'll be probably like a 7.8 something run simply because I didn't get the launch right. Oh, it did a 7.7 .7 anyway. Okay, good. So maybe uh, 7.6s might be in the cards if we get the launch just right. So 7.98 dyno, 7.75 run. That was pretty nice. Okay, let's try again. All right, so let's see if we can get 7.6s or even better runs because of the zero RPM drop. That one's going to be pretty close, 7.746, just a little bit better than the other way. So that's the good news, I guess, that uh, it's not really affected that much by the slightly late launch. Um, I think slightly early launch works too, 4.2 uh, or something like that could also work. Let's try that as a launch point and then see if that'll help. So we can try to launch it right here this time. Okay, so that's like a 4K launch. A little bit too early perhaps. It should still run something like a 7.7, 7 7.8. Did it run 7.8? Yeah, so this one's a lot slower. So yeah, I guess um, 5K range uh, launch with these uh, partial builds might be your best shot at getting a good run out of it. I noticed your RPM drops, uh, at least up to this point without maxing, fully maxing the car, seems to give you a really nice 
All right, so obviously here we go. This is that um, sprint again. 0 0.858 is the same as the other one. But again, 5.0 final drive, launch instant second nitrous, and boom, you're done. Okay, you should be able to get like a 0 0.4 or something. So that should be no issue, even with just these upgrades. Let's go ahead and do that. So all I'm going to do, final drive, like that. Okay, you can launch perfect, obviously. You don't have to launch early with this. You can just launch perfect and then instantly second and hopefully get nitrous. But you probably can do it without even hitting nitrous. Just hit second and it, it should just redline almost instantly. So let's try it. I am going to tap nitrous, of course. I, I still want to leverage every little piece I can get. But we're going to launch and then nitrous and second. I mean second and nitrous. Done. Okay, just like that. Second and nitrous. And that was a 0 0.491. Okay. So once again, going back to garage. So I can, oh, something. Like I, I must have hit something that triggered before the reward even came out. Okay. Yeah, that happens sometimes. All right. So back to here, back to the old tune 2.1 something I thought I had 2.986 oh 985 is good good enough I'll take it I mean 7.985 what am I saying um, okay so 7.985 Again, some point, low 7.7 runs should be enough to get us through the rest of this. So that's on four stage sixes. Again, you know, no Evolution Cup is going to let you get through without being close to fully maxed. Um, this is actually pretty generous uh, to allow us to even get to this point without being fully maxed. Uh, Nitrous launched a little slow there. T typical problem with my device. Uh, didn't seem to hurt the run though. Let's see. Yep, 7.715. Pretty standard there. Pretty pretty stable car once you get the launch right. Now the problem with this, of course, is if you're launching this in live, you're gonna have to use a launch button. Even though the car does beat Dino, and it's not that terrible on points without stage sixes. Uh, it's you know it's a little harder to use. So. Not necessarily my choice for live racer. I'll just put that out there. Okay, not to say the car's bad because it can get pretty high Evo points at without all these points here on the performance. Oh, 7.670, and it can do pretty well uh, overall. But whoops, <sighs> talking too much, not focusing. So because it can do dyno beating, plus it can carry relatively low performance point, high EVO with uh, less upgrades, particularly without stage sixes, this car gains a lot of performance points on every stage six. So its best setup for live racing may involve no stage six, um, just so that you can get uh, the performance points down while maintaining a higher EVO, but still, Overall, the car's not that terrible, especially because it beats Dino, but it's also not super good. Oh, this is a speed thing. Um, should be okay. Yep. Okay. And that's it. I mean, now you're basically going for the final piece here and I can tell you that the final um, relay if you got this far with either car the final relay shouldn't be a problem okay it, it'll stay extreme but that's not really that, ex that much of an issue okay let's go ahead and do it All right, not a perfect launch, but it shouldn't really hurt me that much. Uh, this car, again, fully maxed, should well outrun anything the opponent's going to do. 
so I'm not too worried about it. And again, second opponent um, with the dodge. Whoops. Mm, that may not be so good, but fortunately, the Cobra Jet gave me a huge lead, so I should still be good. 7.8 run, not the best run. Uh, not that it mattered anyway. All right, so that's it. We got it done. Four stage sixes on the uh, drag pack, and then... Uh, Foley Max on the Ford side, but the Ford might be able to get away with missing maybe one of the weaker stage sixes, maybe two. Um, it Again, it was a 7.9, I think, near the end for the first 10 run as well. So if you look at that, basically you just got to get that Ford doing 7.9. So it won't have as much of a problem doing the sprints. Uh, it may have a little bit of a problem getting the top speed, but even then it's a pretty decent top speed car, so I'm not particularly worried about it. So that's it for the uh, Challenger Mopar Drag Pack of the Purple Star. is It's now acquired. The only downside to this whole thing is, you know, I spent a lot of resources to get this guy fully built. And now, in order to complete the final uh, challenges, I'm probably going to end up having to get this guy fully built. Which means I have to transfer parts from this guy to this guy for gold and plus spending the cash. It just kind of a silly thing where it almost seems like it was designed just to waste your resources. That's my only gripe about the whole thing. But other than that, uh, having acquired this one and the other prize cars so far, I should be in good position to continue uh, towards the final prize car of the American Road Trip 2. In any case, thank you for joining me for this video. Let me know if you like the video. If you do, hit the like. If you like my channel and would like to get notifications when I put up new videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.